Hey guys, how you doing? Benson Mokhtar here. Fun fact. Did you know that Jill Valentine is Japanese from her mother's side and French from her father's side? In fact, her mother qualifies as Nikkei Jin. Nikkei or Nikkei Jin refers to the Japanese diaspora. According Valentine's birthplace and age, her mother probably moved to America somewhere after World War II. Now, here are some interesting observations. This is some live action Jill Valentine in Resident Evil 1. And that's her models portraying her mixed heritage. Interestingly, the University of Nottingham conducted an academic research about it that was published to the public. And here is what it says. This paragraph in particular is relevant. Let me quote it. Japanese marketing material for the first Resident Evil game explains that Jill's father is French and her mother is a member of the Japanese diaspora. Now check this out. Jill's Japanese heritage is mentioned a handful of times and is occasionally mentioned in fan discussions. And that got the attention of the University of Nottingham. And you know what? Jill isn't the only character in the game. The vehicle a Japanese heritage. Can you guess who else other than Jill is Japanese? Robert Kendall or Lobato Kendall. His wife probably is, but we're not sure about it. His daughter, Emma Kendall, she's the only character in the franchise that has been represented by an actual half model. Did you know that aside from Kendo family members, there's some Nikkei references somewhere in the game? Can you guess where in the game? Remember Gunshop Kendo? Right there. The Samurai Age. Samurai Age has a very special history. It's a customized weapon manufactured by the Kendo brothers. And here is the signature. I'd like to put a highlight on. As mentioned down there, Nikkei Jin de Aruju, Kendo ni chinande, Samurai Edge to nazuke rare to. Sono mokashi, Nikkei Jin ni yori tsutawaru, Sanmon teki na ju wa aru to kiku. Sono no, Samurai Edge. Who has that said? Can you see the red dot on the white black angle? Here. This could be, maybe, a reference to the Japanese flag, Hinomaru. Okay, now I want to talk about movie adaptations and their original materials. Read the description and remember this. A film adaptation is considered a type of derivative work. When it comes to fidelity, there is no such thing as a movie identical 100% to its original source. That's not a binary statement. Like it's mentioned, it's a derivative work. The degree of fidelity of a movie to its original source is more to be perceived as a spectrum from less to more identical to the original source. And that includes all the Jill Valentine's actresses and models. By the way, Hannah John Kamen is the only actress vehicling a mixed heritage as portraying Jill Valentine. Oh, and let me introduce you to Miss Japan 2015. To resume from the beginning, a film adaptation sets the parameters. The ambiguity is not in the movie, but in the games. Now here is some final observations. According to some observations, well, Jill is Hannah John Kamen, she is African or Black. When Leon is Avan Jogio, he's Mexican, Indian, or brown. The original Leon is Mediterranean, brunette. The official Capcom Design Works cover page seals that statement. But when Jill is defined as half Japanese and half French, nobody qualifies Jill as yellow, Asian, or Japanese. But when Jill is portrayed by Julia Voss or Sasha Zotova, do you see any observations such as white Jill, Canadian Jill, or Russian Jill? 
to resume. When Leon is Avan, Leon is brown. When Jill is Hannah, Jill is black. But Jill is half Japanese, so she should be yellow. But when Jill is Julia or Sasha, she's just Jill. That's a one-way narrative. That simply sounds inappropriate. This content is based on an academic research, some observations, some definition, and some official sources. In the end, I'm embracing all the versions of Jill Valentine. After all, she's my partner. I know, you won't ask me out. All the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. Hope that you learned something. Auf Wiedersehen.